Well, it's been quite a long time since I did an update. And that's because I've been away on holiday and whatnot. And uh, so the things I have done is I've got the gable end in this side. And I've got a massive flood inside. Um, and then round the back here, I, uh, I've got the gable end in here and I've just started putting the ends of the roof in. Um, but yesterday, well, as you probably see, uh, I'm in a sling. Um, and that's because yesterday I was working, well, on the top of this ladder here and um, it fell over and uh, I went to hospital well, I was lying on the uh, I was lying on the ground because um, I fell off the uh, off the ladder and then landed back on it on my back um, I was rolling around on the floor in agony my wife's out I've just got the two kids here and uh, I, I phoned my wife to say I've had a bit of a fall need some help she isn't anywhere near my kids come running over and telling me that they're um, that they're um, um, that they need a new water balloon because the balloons burst or something or other and all this sort of nonsense and I told them to go away, leave me alone for a minute. They came back in, still nagging me, I'm in excruciating amounts of pain. So I decided to walk to the bottom of the garden and then when I got to the bottom of the garden uh, I get hit by two super soakers because they've been playing with water guns and balloons. So uh, anyway, so anyway, I got to hospital and the nurse said, yeah, definitely broken, just we'll get an x-ray. So I'm like there for four hours, I think, in hospital waiting. And it turns out it's not broken. I've just got severe soft tissue damage. Um, I am in excruciating amounts of pain. Um, I'm drugged up heavily. So yeah, that's, that's the update. So the lesson is don't use bloody ladders or step ladders and definitely don't do it on soft ground um but that's that's um yeah that's a lesson learned but however i've got to get this this building watertight um soon um so we're going to wrap it today in membrane and we're going to uh, yeah we've got to get it wrapped that's, that's the only thing we've got to do so me and the wife are going to struggle around with this in the next kind of hour or so. I've also got to try and get the water out. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's not ideal. Anyway, we'll stick a time lapse on and you can uh, watch me do that. So it's another day here. Um, I have been been busy, but slow because I've still got bad wrist after my little tumble. Um, but this back gable is now boarded. And the uh, overhang has also been done on this side. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I've just got a few more ladder runs to put in there and then I'll get this membrane today. And then uh, we'll be onto the front to get that kind of all patched in, get the ladder frame on and then this weekend I've got to get the roof on because I've got to try and get this building dry and keep it dry. So uh, yeah, that's what we're up to. Um, fingers crossed it goes uh, without any, too many problems.
Well, that's the end of today. It doesn't feel like I've done much. It doesn't feel like I've done much, but we've got the two ladder rails in. And we got the rest of the, uh, call them ladder rails. All those in as well. And we've got the back wrapped, which I've just done now. It's not pretty, but with the cost of materials now, we've really got to do things to uh, cut material costs. So yeah, not a, not a bad day really. Tomorrow, tomorrow we've got the rest of the ladders to put in. And then um, I'm gonna knock out the floor the noggins in through the floor. Do I need to do that? I'm not sure I need to do that just yet, actually. I'm just going to throw these boards up. Up there. Get them up there. And then, uh, once they're up, we can then uh, lay them out on the floor and make a floor, which would be our platform, to work on the roof. And then... Friday, Friday, I should be putting the roof on. That's the plan. Um, so, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how best that's going to go, but we'll make it work. Um, I need to get some batten as well ordered. Lots of roof batten, but we'll work that out in a bit. Anyway, thanks for watching. Well, it's another day, and we are today. We're going to go and just finish this last, and finish this last ladder run off, and then we're going to start throwing these boards up at there, so I can start working and getting the roof noggins in. And uh, yeah, generally just um, yeah, get on with it. Really, it's going to be uh, going to be a long day. I've got a lot to do. So we'll uh, just get started and go. So this is me in the uh, the loft area, I suppose. It's quite cramped. But I've been putting in the noggins, so I've uh, only putting them low down because I need airflow constantly over the top. So I've used um, uh, four by two as the noggins, which still gives me 50 mil airflow. And then at the top of the roof, we're going to be drilling holes through here to allow the air throw, airflow through. kind of what we're up to. It's very cramped up here but it's gonna make a nice loft space. But yeah, I think
well another day and it's a bit of a slow start today but we are going to start boarding the roof out me and my lovely wife loaded out all the USB to here and uh, we've got some 38mm cheap drill bits to go and drill through the ridges a couple of times just get some airflow and then I've bought all the um, uh, the bands because we're obviously OSB and making this job a bit harder than it needs to be and costing a bit more than it needs to be and um, so we have to spend a bit more money but I think it's right so yeah so what we're doing today is we're going to uh, drill out through these rafters we've got to put more and more noggins in and uh, and uh, get some more boards up and just generally um, kind of get the roof on so uh, yeah that's what we're doing So that is all the holes drilled in all the rafters all the way along the top to allow for airflow and also all the noggins in both sides. So our next job now is to start throwing the sheets up.
Thank mm-hmm. you.